back with my new old friend, Dr. Jen Ashton of ABC News. So I took a coronavirus antibody test, which I was hoping would be positive, but unfortunately it was negative. I've not been exposed, so mask culture continues. I'm dying to check my antibodies, and I want to check them every, every two weeks so that I can figure out, you know, when or if I've been exposed um, and get some degree of protection. But there's still a lot of unknowns with those antibodies. Are you surprised that we know as little as we do? Science is pretty good in this country. Shouldn't we be ahead of where we are? Just because coronaviruses have been known about since the 1960s doesn't mean that new strains can't teach us and that there isn't a lot to learn about new strains. So if you think back to SARS and MERS, those were coronaviruses also, but they behaved very differently. Why can't we have a vaccine in by the fall? Why do 12 to 18 months? Why, why, what, come on, we got smart people all over the world. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you why. It's a science timeline, which means you have to do phase one and phase two clinical trials, which assuming they go perfectly well, take anywhere from six to nine months. Then you have to be able to manufacture hundreds of millions of doses. Is there any truth to the idea that men get this in general more than women? They're infected at the same rate, but they die at twice the rate of women. There are some theories as to why that is, some behavioral aspects. Do men tend to have more of the comorbidities or high risk pre-existing medical conditions than women because of behavior like smoking? No one knows, but this is why it's important to collect data analyze data and report data. And until we get the CDC to release this on thousands and thousands of U.S. cases, right now it's just an observation. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.